Well, the Palm Springs Food and Wine Festival will take place this weekend, featuring 40 acclaimed restaurants, 80 boutique wineries, and celebrity chef demonstrations. News Channel 3 is a proud sponsor of the event, which also raises money for several local nonprofits. I spoke today with the executive producer, Jeff Hawker, and the owner of Zen American Bistro in Palm Springs, Mindy Reed. Jeff and Mindy, tell us about the Palm Springs Food and Wine Festival. Well, hi, Peter. I'm so thrilled that KESQ is one of our partners. Of course, you'll be there on site as an MC, Patrick Evans, Sandy Newton. We have some of the most amazing chefs that are coming to the event. Uh, Martin Yan from Yankin Cook from PBS, Tanya Holland from the Food Network, uh, Susan Feniger, who's now opening a new restaurant in Palm Springs called Alice B's. And of course, Joe Sasto, who's one of the judges on a bunch of Food Network shows, and he won uh, one of the top chef shows. So who's who of different chefs are going to be part of the event this year? I love that. And I also love that you're showcasing local restaurants, including Zen American Bistro, which I know, Mindy, you're the owner of. Yes, I do. 20 years now. We're celebrating 20 years at Zen, and we're really excited to be doing um, the Food and Wine Festival. It's going to be a lot of fun, really great wineries there. Um, some of my favorite uh, other restaurants in town, Workshop, Mr. Parker, Lions, just to name a couple. Um, it's going to be the creme de creme. So. The creme de la creme. Yeah. And does this solidify the fact that Palm String Springs really is becoming a food and wine destination? Yeah, when I decided to put this on again, this is not my first iteration of doing the Palm Springs Food and Wine Festival. I really wanted to focus on the cool, hip, chic, bohemian flavor that Palm Springs it is the only city that can bring that. We're already being compared, and we haven't even done the event this weekend, to Aspen and South Beach. That's what we're emulating to make this world-renowned, and you know, we've got the name, Palm Springs. Absolutely. And for folks who would like to attend this weekend, what do they need to know? They need to know that we have two levels of tickets, general admission and VIP. Uh, VIP gets you into an area where you're going to taste Turnbull, ZD, Gurgich Hills. We've got a French champagne and caviar. Um, we've got live bands. We've got acoustic guitarist, uh, a steel drum player, um, and demos both days. It's going to be incredible. Each of the restaurants that are participating, some will be on one day and some will be the, on the other, but Zen American Bistro will be there both days, so you can come up and taste bites from all these different fine dining restaurants. And the other part we really wanted to focus on was chef-owned restaurants and owners that are really involved. That makes a big difference in the quality of the cuisine. Absolutely. Anything else either of you would like to say before we let you go? Well, definitely how to get tickets. You can go to palmspringsfoodandwine.org and we will have tickets available at the door for both general admission and VIP. So come on out. The weather's going to be fantastic. At least Patrick Evans told us that. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you come out and see all your favorite anchors from KESQ. I'll be there tomorrow from noon to 1.30. I can't wait. Jeff and Mindy, so great to see you both. I look forward to tomorrow and Sunday. All right. See you later.